This video is for the Operation Rainbow Warrior and the APM Research Group viewers. The discovery of Basinger Star Fort in Hampshire, UK in the winter of 2023. I stumbled across APM Research earlier this year after many years of searching for something that resonated with my spiritual and nature-loving journey. Although I felt intuitively a spinning ball theory wasn't correct, I'd wager many feel the same. Flat Earth theories under the microscope didn't make sense to me, and so I left this theory on the back burner for a duration. Being a practitioner of ancestral veneration and having a keen interest in the luminaries, I feel finding APM research was inevitable when one carries instinct and critical thinking to life's journey in the return to lost ancestral wisdoms. What brought each of you to the unprecedented exclusive APM research and their discoveries? There is much reflection, not only of the official narrative we're immersed in, but of ourselves after this discovery. In delving further into APM research, Operation Rainbow Warrior was presented to me. Having heard of the Hopi prophecy many years ago, I became intrigued with the meaning behind the content and quickly established that rainbows are in fact relevant to the mechanisms of nature and not, as we're led to believe, myths of no consequence. Rainbows are the glorification of angels, the creator's design. Angels are the technology of nature. APM research has successfully decoded rainbows, halos and angels and what they represent. Have you been sighting the many rainbows appearing vibrantly within the realm recently? Do they appear at the same location or at a particular time of day? The glory of creation is revealing itself for all to see. We've been taught to dismiss the codes of nature and its designs and look into a void of nothingness, space. Rainbows help us clearly see and acknowledge nature's glory. Our ancestors throughout Earth's realm had the knowledge and wisdoms in understanding, caretaking and glorifying the wonders of the Creator's technology. The star fort being one such marker for the workings below. So, back to the local area and the discovery I made recently when documenting local rainbows. My first exciting discovery was in the summer this year while I was watering the vegetables in my garden. The hose revealed two rainbows which I was very excited about the child in us all returns when we spot rainbows, it seems. These water hose rainbows are revealed as a type of reflection of the authentic larger rainbows in the environment around us. Seeing these ignited a passion for discovering more. The easiest initiation to become part of Operation Rainbow Warrior ORW for short, is to watch your local skies and visually and locationally record using map coordinates, including the approximate radius or circumference size. I did this with these two local rainbows that vibrantly showed themselves in the street and in a field, leading me to look around the local area for ancient hidden sites. I assumed I was looking for a sacred well. However, I discovered 
with the help of FPV and the LiDAR overlay, a star fort instead. And I, I have found a well, <laughs> a local well, maybe another video in time. What's the star fort? APM research decodes them as ancient markers for the angel rooms below, where nature's technology resides. Much of our sacred geometry is being decoded by APM as we speak. We are all able to be part of this revelation. In ancient times, these sacred sites were glorified. Our ancestors depicted them as temples, stones, obelisks and so on. Today, they are masked as churches, abbeys and cathedrals which mark certain poles or nodes, which play a crucial role within each halo. What's occurring around the star fort? The distinct overlap of two halos, or coils, with opposite flows of direction, namely the Visica Pisces, elevate and manipulate the ether upwards into the heavens and direct them back down, to generate charged electrical atoms. The male and female currents coming together, Eve being the larger halo, divides matter which then rises, Adam, the smaller halo, then manipulates that matter and returns it back to the terrain of Earth as winds. The positive and negative electrically charged particles spiral outwards and orchestrate the local weather and elements rain, tornadoes, water spouts and dust devils to name a few. The rainbows sit above the torus field until it collapses after Adam and Eve come together revealing the spectrum of rainbow colours. The inventions of religions seem to have successfully severed us from our birthright of witnessing and understanding the Earth's wonders. Partly by personifying these workings in entirety, which in turn hides the Creator's glory and all wonders of nature. The local star fort is officially known as Basing House. It is described as a multi-period site comprising of 12th century circular ringwork castle with a citadel. The diameter of the ring is approximately 75 metres and sits upon a 10 metre high bank. Basinger can only be traced back to a Saxon settlement and tribe this seems to be a popular thread in textbook history and reveals very little insight into real term or local tribe living. The Danes and Saxons battled away here. In AD 871, the Danes defeating. Basinger is now called Old Basing Parish Village, with Basing House as its claim to fame along with Liz Hurley. The earlier castle was held by a number of favourable aristocratic families until it was rebuilt in Queen Elizabeth I's reign for sumptuous entertainment purposes. Mm. Basing House is renowned for being Oliver Cromwell's last stand against the Crown of England. It stood as a bastion and garrison for th in three civil wars, which suitably left the site plundered and described as ruins. It is now a registered historical site with Grade two listed brickworks. The protection of a historic site means no more probing, nothing to see here, Move along. Civil war reenactments take place on the site 
and a cannon stands on the mound. All a show of bloodshed and division. The convenience of unrest, wars, colonisation and conflicts in aiding the disruption and pollution of ancestral knowledge is becoming too clear in this modern era. The workings of this realm enhance creation. Who is driving the forces of destruction in everything natural? There's a call to all. Operation Rainbow Warrior seeks souls to investigate local rainbows to discover the creator's technology below and the magic above. Thank you.